Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. There are times when you're writing a, a program, C++ or, or C, where you want to read something from the uh, standard input or from a file uh, that's formatted in a specific way. Uh, I'm going to show you a technique I've, I've used over the years. Uh, it's an old C programming technique uh, that works very very well. It's called SCANF. So to actually create this program I'm going to create. I'm just going to show you a little main routine. I'm going to label uh, SCANF.cpp. I think you'll like it. Uh, and uh, to do this, I'm going to need some a uh, few libraries. Uh, I/O Stream, obviously, I use in almost every program. Then I'm going to use uh, the string library because I'm going to read things in as a string first and then convert them later. Uh, I'm going to need the C uh, C standard uh, I/O uh, library. I'm also going to need the uh, the uh, just the standard lib.h. Using namespace standard, since we're going to be using the same namespace in all of those, I'll just uh, avoid myself a little extra typing. And we'll just create our main routine. Int main void return zero. And then there we end it. Alright, now to illustrate the problem or to kind of describe the problem to you. I'll show you, I'll document it up here in uh, comments. I know all of you don't like really to like write comments. I do. Uh, I want to uh, read in a date in the format of month, month, day, day, year. Now, when I say read it in that format, I'm also uh, going to add this to it that the uh, month, day, and year can be um, one, two, th one or two digits long and year can be four or larger. So uh, it's going to be a little flexible like that and there will be no spaces in between them. So uh, how you do that? Well I need a couple of definitions. Uh, I need a string to read it into. I'm going to call it in string and I'm uh, going to need uh, some um, integers to put it into. We'll call it M, D, and Y for month, day, and year. So I need those. So let's. the first thing we need to do is read the string in. Get line, and I'm going to read it in from standard input, and I'm going to put it into in string. So that's a, that, that reads the whole line up into the end uh, where it detects the uh, end of line character, or the carriage return. The next thing I'm going to do is convert it and that's done by one line of code. It's very, very handy. Uh, doing this with CN is, is, is a little bit more involved, but it can be done. Okay, So I'm going to use SCANF, which is actually called an internal read uh, in C. Um, and that's handled like this. I pass it the in string, the thing I read in, in string, because uh, it's going to use that as the input. Now, since this is an old C uh, library function. It doesn't work with C++ strings. So I've got to convert it to um, a character array, which uh, you can start out that way, which is which is fine. However, you'd have to change get line right there. So um, we got to convert it. So to do that, you say dot C underscore string. In other words, uh, convert this to a C string. And it does that. And it, it converts it to a character array and places the end line null character at the end of it which is what it's expecting. <clears throat> the next thing I need to do is I need to pass it to format of the thing that I'm reading in. Uh, and this is probably the most difficult part of it, but it's not terribly difficult. Uh, look in the old Kernighan and Ritchie uh, C++ plus, or C programming uh, book. Uh, very, very popular. And if you're a professional programmer, I suggest you get a copy of it. Um, the uh, percent sign D tells it that the first thing is going to be uh, an integer. So that's right, that's right there. So it takes that two digit, that one, two or digit character and converts it to an integer. The next thing I got to do is tell it to expect a, uh, a slash. So I'm going to do a slash right there. <clears throat> and then of course the next one is another percent sign D telling it's an integer. 
and then another slash, and then finally another percent sign D, percent sign D, and that's all the format. So that's the second part of this. There's three parts of it. So this is the, the where it's getting it from. This is the format, and I've got to tell it where to put it to. What to put it to is the the month, the day, and the year. Uh, and that would be okay, but that's not going to work. Remember that this is an old C library, um, and in C, when you're passing things by value, you just give it the month, the day, and the year. Um, this scanf wants to actually modify those, so I've got to pass it by reference. And that's kind of the trick here. That's one thing a lot of people forget. So I'm going to pass them by reference. I either got to pass a pointer or I got to pass it the address. I'm going to pass it the address right here. <coughs> so that's going to allow me to actually modify it. All right. So let's make, let's see if this works. We're going to see out. We're going to see out the month. We're going to separate it by space. We're going to print out the day. We're going to separate by space. And then we're going to print out the year. And end up. Okay. Let's see if this works. Control O, Control X, G plus plus, dash standard equals C plus plus 11. And then the scanf.cpp. Hey, hey, it worked. All right, so let's run it. We'll say A dot out. Now it's expecting me to input 88. All right, so we'll, we'll input the uh, 11, 20, uh, 2001, and notice it prints out 11, 20, 2001. Right a minute. Now let's check it to make sure that it uh, does the uh, one-digit character. We'll put uh, 1, 1, and this year's date's 2021, and there it is, 1, 1, 2021. All right, very good. Um, that's just a very, very simple uh, introductory to SCANF. It's much, much more complex than that. There's lots, uh, lots of features you can use to it. And uh, but I hope you find it handy. Uh, handy. Let me, uh, uh, let me uh, just uh, uh, display the code here one more for one more time for you, so you can take a look at it and you can pause this uh, video and and look at that again. Um, I encourage you to. Um, uh, uh, look up the book uh, that I got this from, and it's the. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll just put it uh, in the comments up here. Pico scanf.cpp. I'll just put it up in the comments up here. Uh, a book that I have every edition of, by the way. It's the uh, the C the C programming language by and uh, and uh, it's uh, by Brian. Uh, w. Kernigan and Dennis M. Ritchie. Dennis M. Ritchie, by the way, is the, is the guy who invented C. And uh, Brian Kernigan um, uh, helped him uh, uh, actually write the book. Brian, Brian Kernigan is a very, very talented writer. So, very good book. And uh, again, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to doing more. And uh, on my channel, if you if you uh, uh, if you found this useful, press like and uh, subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.